Yo, so the Christmas event is live, and it's actually been live for uh, two days, three days maybe? Two days? Two days, the 17th. Um, uh, so I haven't had a chance to, to get on it yet. I actually still have my inventory from freaking uh, Bandits. That's what I was doing. Kind of wasted, but I want to do the event. The event's more important, so we'll, uh, we'll just do that. But uh, yeah, today the event got buffed a little bit. Uh, just some of the fixes everybody wanted, some of the suggestions and everything have all been implemented. The boss is actually a lot better. Let me show you that. Come here. Come here. Uh, so as you can see, he's got like a lot more things he's dropping. The Christmas clue is actually on the uncommon table instead of the rare table. Um, and then just a few other things were added. All of the little drops were increased, and it now guarantees drops a year. So pretty good invention XP. But uh, obviously that's not something we care about. We're already 99. Um, but that requires an ice diamond, so we're going to have to do some Christmas clues. And I think the best way to do it is the butterfly net then. That seems to be the popular method, so I'm going to open up all my clues and stuff, and if I get anything cool, we'll show that off, uh, and otherwise, we will just start on right with the event. Oh, yeah, one chest out of it. Bludgeon Claw. That's all right, I suppose. A bludgeon wouldn't be the worst thing. I'd, I'd be fine with that. If you want a little more information on exactly how implings work, um, so this applies to implings whenever they get added back. So there's a, a list of their their spawns, and there's a list of um, like where they can teleport. And uh, generally, I like to, keep, like to keep them the same, but with this event, I did it a little differently. Um, it's it's still really the same process. There's there's ten I think ten different spots they can go to, and they're all spread out. I might have added more because I've I've changed my ideas, but roughly ten spots, and they'll sort of spawn in the, and they'll basically when you catch one, it, it moves to any of the other locations. So, theoretically, you could just camp one location. My, my assumption of how this event would go would be that everyone would just sort of camp a spot and then wait for the wait for the butterfly to come to their spot. But it seems like more people just kind of just run around and chase it. Because if you, if you like, right-click, it's kind of hard to tell when you uh, visually, because, one, they're bigger now, which means that they um, sort of disappear and then come back because their animation is... is I think they're just kind of, like, supposed to, like, hover and flip around... Um, so they're kind of hard to figure out exactly where it's at, you're just, but they have a good click radius, so that's kind of what you're going for. But if you right-click some piles, you'll see, like, there's a ton right here, um, because they can all spam in the same spot. Somebody said add more, but I'm the only one doing this, so I feel like there's no need to add more. But yeah, you can just, uh, just get, they'll always, they always exist, they never die. So if it, it'll just move to different locations. So we've got ourselves a nice little inventory here. I suppose having a full inventory isn't a smart idea, because then I can't loot it while I'm there. So I suppose I'll just do 14s. Uh, Christmas clue? Okay, we got the hat. That's nice, because that, to my knowledge, is the only way for a non-Iron Man to get it. And I'm technically on it from scratch, so I'm an Iron Man. Um, but yeah, we got that. That's good. Uh, I think this is a just a cash casket. And our first Christmas clue. Which one is this? This is the... This is, okay, so this one... Requires a gnome child hat and then Zerikin's robes. The problem is you can't get Zerikin robes from the uh, the implings. It, I believe you can't. Can you? Let me check. Okay, you can't, but you can get it from clues. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't really help me because I obviously already have the clue. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go kill the Satan's dwarf thingies and uh, hopefully get some Zerikin robes and we can do our first clue. And in the process, we'll get more. So that's cool. Oh, wow. Somebody just got a core from the boss. I think that's actually the first loot that's real. I got I got one earlier, but I have a P-ring, so it didn't really count. That is the first one. It's actually a pretty good one, too, because you can get, like, a Robin Hood hat, and no one wants that. Oh, you know what? I forgot these things only had 66 health. I thought, I, Originally, I was going to do 666 because, you know, Satan. But uh, that would make them take too long to kill, which would, always, would make the um, butterfly method way better. It's already better, but... It would make it way better. So I'm probably going to switch off DH. I don't think DH is good for something with 66 health. Got a Christmas casket. Oh, that was so good. That was so good, dude. That was so good. A whip and an ice diamond. That's that's like that could not have gone better. Holy hell. Alright, so we got eight Christmas caskets. 
Let's do it. Ah, uh, lucky components. Bando's boots, membership, deconstruct and onyx. I'm with it. That's pretty much guaranteed mystery boxes right there. Uh, I don't really need any of that. Bandit teleport. I'll use it. It's definitely useful. Uh, four more. Another deconstruct and onyx. Ooh, music cape. Nice. And a mystery box. Uh, another one of these. Nice. I can complete a clue. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. I can live with that. I mean, I didn't get anything, like, amazing, but I got pretty good stuff. Alright, so just did a couple clues. I think we have one more in the bank. We do. So, seven Christmas clues. Ooh, third age. Okay, that's cool. Dragon Kite Shield's cool. Third age rope top. That's nice. I'm definitely going to just disassemble that. Okay, everything else. That's some nice components right there. Shoot, we might be able to get a uh, lucky item. I can't remember which one's first, but we're close. Uh, another magic pearl. All right, cool. Not bad. Oh wow, I actually I just got the crystal key pet. That is my uh, first pet, and this is the first time I got this pet, so that's actually pretty cool. I always like this one. It's pretty simple. It's very simple, but it's cute, little guy. I like how his big fat head. Ah, so I've just been doing a little bit of this and that, and I have myself 12 mystery boxes and 6 Christmas caskets. I also opened up some uh, crystal keys earlier, and I got that Robin if you're, that you're looking at right now. So that's cool. I'm probably going to keep that and rock that for a little while. Let's, uh, let's open the caskets first, I suppose. Let's go 2, 2, 2. Boom. Boom. Uh, the chaps are actually pretty nice. They can, like, I, I need those to... To be able to do these clues, press the new clue tab. I only need the body now. Um, I'd like something better, but I'll take it. You know, whatever. Another magic pearl. Oh, we got the pet. That's funny. That's cool. So there is the second pet. Wow, I just got a pet. That's crazy. Second pet. All right. Uh, might have space for these, I think. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got the body. All right, that's cool. I'm a little happier now. We just got back-to-back -back pets. That's hilarious. It's actually... I mean, I know that people don't think it's rare because you get it a lot. But trust me, in terms of other things, it's it's pretty hard to get. So the fact that we've got it twice, back-to-back, -back, is pretty impressive. Let me uh, open up these mystery boxes then. Bam. I mean, cash. Some cash, some rare components, whatever. I'll take it. Oh, wow. So that's actually not too bad for... We just got a Ring of Wealth Eye. And uh, we don't really have anything better. So until we get our uh, lucky amulet or Ring of Fortune, this is our only luck boost. Well, that's cool. We just got a looting bag. Revenants are back. And I, I need some money right now. I have enough components for a lucky amulet. Um, I just need the cash. I think I need 50 mil more to get the schematics. So... I figure why not kill a couple of these. So uh, I got an emblem earlier. I didn't show it, but it's just five mil, so whatever. But uh, that'll, the looting bag is nice. Hey, I just got a dragon defender. That's cool. That's really all I was just going for. Nice. Uh, so last night when I was playing, I actually got a bond right before I logged off, and I was in a call with John, so I just uh, didn't have time to record it then. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. What is that gonna give us? When are you fixing the donator store? What's wrong with this donor? Is this donor? Uh, what do we have? Five hundred points. Um, could save them for something bigger, like like a dragon hunter crossbow. Honestly, would be pretty nice. I might just ah fuck it, yellow. Let's just get a <laughs> let's just let's just let's just go let's just go all out and get a mahogany chest five. I don't even know what is in this that we could even want. Uh, do I, I? I assume I don't have a key already. No. Uh, five. That was that was that. Uh, that uh, I quit in the server. <laughs> that, was, that was the worst. That was a terrible decision. That was, that was stupid. I'm dumb. Uh, so I just looted the uh, loot balloon. Uh, luckily, I'm, I'm the only one that knows where all of them are. No one knew where this was. Castle Wars. Loon was outside Kessel Wars. So, yeah. Uh, Materia Simulum 7, that's not really going to be helpful, but you always get, like, you always get a, a couple things, so that's good. 
Okay, so after scraping pretty much everything from my bank, we finally have just enough lucky like, components, just enough cash. Uh, well, I think I'm missing the ring that's on me. Nice. So this is the Ring of Fortune. The next thing I'll buy is the Lucky Amulet. I think that's like 1.5 mil components. 1.5 mil components. So that's not too bad. We just have to get a lot more clues. Ring of Fortune. Boom. Yeah. 